course Mangal, I work on a long dated FX options, a hybrid FX options desk and uh, I've taken the CFE in 2011 and uh, it was an excellent program. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, calibration of an FX option surface and especially I'll provide some insight, hopefully provide some insight of uh, some of the issues that are dealt with especially on the longer end of the surface where you have issues with liquidity and observing enough uh, option prices in order to be able to uh, calibrate. So just to give a brief uh, overview of uh, the typical conventions that are used to build a surface in FX. So usually you will have uh, typical strategies that are quoted. Uh, you will have your at the money uh, vols and you will have your risk reversals and butterflies that are for 10 delta and 25 delta. Usually you will always observe 25 delta on the short end but uh, 10 delta is sometimes more difficult to come across. And uh, in FX, it's also key to understand the typical conventions for the quoting mechanism. So if you're quoting your at the monies, you can have uh, at the money delta neutral and at the money forward, which is very important. And then for certain uh, FX pair, uh, uh, for certain currency pairs, you will actually need to understand the typical delta uh, convention is either premium adjusted or non-premium adjusted and uh, this actually all of this can be found on risk lattes and uh, materials or on the website so I would strongly recommend and encourage you to actually have a look at that and uh, usually when you're quoting at the monies uh, for all currency pairs I'm gonna say most because um, uh, in emerging market it could be quite different but uh, for the main uh, currencies you would actually have at the money delta neutral strike uh, up to and including 10 years and you would have at the money forward strikes anything past that and in terms of risk reversal and butterfly quotes they will actually be quoted for up to two years it's going to be against spot delta but afterwards it's all going to be against forward delta so these are the typical structure uh, the typical strategies that you will find in the market and usually one key thing to understand is that the butterfly convention is actually quoted as an average of the 25 delta or 10 delta strikes over your uh, at the money so and if your surface isn't uh, symmetrical, meaning that your risk reversal is a non-zero, you're actually pricing a structure that's off your surface. So uh, it's it won't be a true 25 or 10 delta. And this is very important as well. And again, I would encourage you to look on Risk Latte's website to understand it better. So your calibration routine, whatever your model is, will actually need to, uh, will your minimization uh, process for your calibration is actually going to need to be constrained. So the first setup is, is that whatever model you're using, you're trying to price back the typically quote the vaults and you will minimize a certain function. Usually it's just very simple uh, without any weights, the difference between your model vault and your quoted market vault. And the constraint is to make sure that the broker butterfly is actually priced back off of your surface, even though it's using like individual vaults or called like smile butterfly, in order that the price between your surface uh, butterfly uh, broker butterfly and against the fly that's quoted in the market is actually uh, actually the difference in price between them is zero so you won't be arbed in the market. Now the issue with uh, long dates is uh, you won't typically see, well it's quite often you won't see uh, all these structures that usually go into a calibration routine and you need to have a way to actually deal with it. And here I will just mention uh, uh, I will just use a specific example of Saber, but other stochastic ball models can be used and there's other ways to actually go about it. But I'll just speak uh, about Saber so just so you would get an idea of how you can deal with um, uh, the lack of liquidity in effects, especially the long dates. So typically what you would want your uh, calibration routine is to be very flexible where the prices that you provide isn't necessarily the standard quotations that is that are very often mentioned in the literature and there's quite a few good books out there that discuss uh, these issues. But for the long date, you just simply won't have, you won't observe these uh, strategies. But you will have things like individual strikes quoted against, or individual delta strikes, uh, deltas quoted in terms of fall as spread against that, the money, or, or in terms of calendar spreads. So your calibration routine needs to be built up quite flexibly where you may not have uh, butterflies, broker flies, or you may not have risk reversals. And in that case, you would actually need to input. Uh, your uh, individual strike quotes or your spread quotes or whatever you actually observe in the market that you can actually then build uh, your surface in order to price back uh, your this in, or, in order to actually return the same ball so your stable calibration needs to be flexible where 
in the context of Sabre, your uh, calibration will need to take the individual strikes, be able to price them back, and you're able to actually uh, uh, you know, minimize your actual error function between your model ball and your actual uh, balls that are observed in the market. And then whenever you do observe, uh, for instance, a uh, butterfly quoted or risk reversal, uh, you are able to actually have those inputs as well. So it takes a, a lot of work to actually think about in terms of uh, how you're going to calibrate, how you're going to, what your minimization function is. Minimization function is actually not too difficult in a sense where you're trying to get the balls back between what's being quoted. But if you do observe a price of a butterfly, for instance, a broker butterfly, you will need to ensure that uh, your minimization uh, uh, is actually constrained to actually price back the broker fly off of your model. So, it, uh, and I, as well I should mention that uh, in Sabre it's quite well known that uh, for low delta uh, strikes, uh, your low delta balls are actually not priced back by Sabre, where it's either too high or too low, depending if you're talking about you know, your calls or your puts. And so you would actually typically need a way to correct for that, and usually a trader would want to have some control over it. Uh, one of the ways to do that, and uh, again, you, you can look up on Risk uh, Latte's website, is you can actually truncate your Sabre model uh, for certain deltas beyond which you actually use an, a function uh, that's uh, calibra that's actually extrapolating prices, uh, extrapolating prices, which is quite easy to do, but you need to ensure that uh, they're not arb free. So in that case, your calibration routine would actually uh, need to check for non arb conditions, especially for the wings, which is not an easy thing to do, but it's something well worth actually trying to do, and especially when uh, if you're trying to. Uh, price, uh, you know, low delta, so 10 delta butterflies, for instance, it's usually going to be somewhere on your extrapolated surface, so you need to be very careful about that, but that's one of the approaches.